sons of God. The first fruits company to deliver them from their carnal mind and activate them for the purposes of God. All of the ministry at this level is on the church, brethren. It's on the church <coughs> for the purpose of activating them for the purposes of God. These and the, the purpose of God is to save the world from this image of the computer uh, androids that that are passing for human beings that are that are absolutely oppressing and determined to wipe out every last human being that might be a home for the Lord Jesus Christ. These reptilians or hybrids. They're out to destroy every human being that would qualify to be a house for God. And they want to possess the earth. The whole problem, all you hybrids that you have, is that Jehovah said that the meek will, will inherit the earth, those who are humble before their God, the one true God. So you cannot inherit the earth. There's no way you can do it. It's a lost cause. It's only a matter of time until the Lord activates the sons of God to the point that he can reveal himself through them to the degree that they become powerful enough to wipe you out. You're going to die. You cannot prevail. You will be melted. You have become hard like liquid glass that's, that's cooled after it's in the fire. You become hard, but you will be melted and brought to nothing because there's no substance behind you. You're just an image without any reality on the other side of the glass that was destroyed 2,000 years ago. You know what you like? You know what you like? You're like an army that keeps on fighting after a peace, uh, a peace uh, pact was signed. After your, your, your country that you're fighting for has signed a peace agreement, they've been defeated, and you didn't get the news, and you're out there fighting and killing people. You know there were soldiers like that when World War II ended? There were Japanese soldiers and German soldiers that were still out there fighting. They didn't get the word that the war was over. That's what all, you, that's what all of you uh, images are out there. You're nothing but images of something that no longer exists. You're going to die. You will cease to exist. And the image of the Lord Jesus Christ will fill this world and each and every person in it. And you will be not even a memory. No one will even remember you anymore. You need to understand that these, these end times, what's happening now, is the claiming of the possession of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is His. The taking away of His possession from an usurper that has had the use of it for all of these years. And here we go back to the concept of the Jubilee. Because of the sin of mankind, Satan and Leviathan and Cain, which of course are the fallen woman, has a right to the use of humanity because of our sins. But in the Jubilee, all property must be returned to the owner. And the owner is the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's the Jubilee, brethren, and she has to, this fallen woman, she has to give up the possession of humanity. So it's really important that we get our eyes off of what's going on out there, which is just the image of what has already passed away. Have you ever heard that the, what we think of the stars in the sky, that it's not really stars, it's, it's the light of stars that existed probably millions of years ago? Does anybody know that? Mm -hmm. Have you all heard that? Okay. What we see going on in the earth today, it's all over. It doesn't even exist anymore. It's an image. It's a movie. It's a reflection, okay, that is no longer reflecting what has happened in the spiritual plane. It's the light that we see in the sky, but the stars died a long time ago. So we've got to get our eyes off of what's happening in this world and get our eyes on the truth that God is telling us exists in the spiritual plane. And where your mind is, is where you will be when God moves. What do you believe? So when your mind starts believing this other stuff that we hear, you have to rebuke it and choose to believe God's message because what you believe will determine what side you're on when the, when the, when the line comes down. And there is a line coming down. 
There will be many lines coming down, but there's a line coming down. Where will you be when your opportunity for the Lord Jesus to enter into your vessel appears? What will you be believing? He cannot. If you believe what you what you hear that's going on out there, that means that mind is covering over the lamb, and he cannot get to the lamb to join with it. We must must resist what we see with these eyes, and believe what we see with the spiritual eyes. And what are we looking at with our spiritual eyes? We're looking at what we read in the Book of Revelation and the image that that presents for us. This is an old image in this world. It's an old image, see. And it cannot possibly form what no longer exists in the spirit. What we see in the earth, and this, this is the mind of that he goat that destroyed the ram in Daniel chapter 8. See? But the he goat's been destroyed. Jesus destroyed him when he rose from the dead. So the end, the end that is being prophesied and threatened, it cannot come to pass. Because it's not, it's no longer reflecting a reality. However, there will be some people who will be experiencing that end. Can you understand what I'm saying? All, everything in the book of Revelation is happening in the earth. Do you not want to be a part of the company that there is no way that can happen to you? Because you are not only believing, but you're believing with the mind of God what the reality is. And the reality is, is, re, is revealing itself through you. There will be some people who are manifesting the mind of the goat, even though the goat has been slain, okay? And they will finish out their lives in accordance with that mindset of the goat because nothing, nothing changed.